Hi everyone, it's uh, Eugene Michaud. Today I'd like to show you how you can connect a tablet up to your Ferro Focus scanner uh, using the uh, uh, wireless uh, LAN fun option in the scanner. And uh, some of the older scanners will not have this particular option, but on newer scanners you definitely will. Uh, what I have on the left is a Samsung Galaxy 7 tablet. Um, if you're using something like an iPad or a similar Apple product, it probably won't work because um, it's uh, not flashed based in the browser. So that's an important uh, point to remember. Now on the, uh, on the right side here, I just have the scanner set up. And what I'm going to do is start navigating through the menus and just show you how to do this. So if you go to the Manage uh, General Settings, and you'll see WLAN. Just click on that. Uh, at the moment, I have it disabled, so I'm going to uh, enable that here and this will kick in in just a second okay uh, now what I'm gonna do is just uh, to make note of a couple of things here uh, the first time you set this up and that is gonna be the IP address here 192.168.111.2 also the port is important so here it's set to 8400 and of course uh, the encryption key down here at the bottom so the default on the scanner when it comes from the factory is gonna be 0 through 9 uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so uh, we've got this set up on the scanner. Now what we need to do is uh, go to the tablet here. So I'm going to go down to the bottom to my settings. And I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi. And it does see the, uh, L, uh, the LS, the scanner down here. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, now in order to connect, I need the password first, so I need to enter the security passwords. So that was 01234567789, and I'm going to hit uh, OK. Let's see what happens. Okay, looks like it's uh, obtaining the IP address. Okay, looks pretty good here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to a, just a regular browser page here, and up at the top, I'm going to need to enter the IP address first, so I'll do that, 192.168.111.2 and then what I need to do is put a colon and enter the port which was 8400 oops I made a little mistake there 8400 okay and then I can hit go so it should uh, kick in here in a second uh, looks like it's going to work. Yeah. Okay. So um, now I have control of the scanner. Now, what you will notice is on the right side, the scanner menus don't actually update. So uh, often, what I do is I just hit the home key and just let that sit there. Uh, eventually, the uh, uh, the screensaver should kick in. But I can control this, uh, you know, completely from uh, my tablet. I get a larger view. It's a larger screen. It's a little bit clearer. And I can also set the brightness up very, very high, which is nice uh, when you're outdoors uh, because the, the focus is obviously limited on how bright that can be. Um, I mean, so is the tablet, but it just seems easier to see outdoors. Uh, so, yeah, so now you have access to everything, um, all the controls, all the parameters uh, for the scanning. So um, this, is, uh, this is pretty much it. It's uh, quite a useful uh, function uh, on the scanner. And, um, yeah, hopefully you've learned something, and thank you very much.